This time it's going in the book. All right, let's... <laughs> That's funny. That is a funny one. Hi, everybody. It is Saturday. It is the cusp of a three-day weekend, and I have wasted much of this weekend being very lazy. Actually, that's not true. I have recorded a lot. We've had two subs already, so let's throw some hype. Oh, three. Pete's played nothing. Oh, there it goes. I was a little worried there. Viking Dwarf with 15 months, 18 total. Crit had 15 months and Pete at 38. Freeze, go first. There you go. It's because Viking wants to be part of the YouTube. The Kappa Kappa. Hypes in the chat for sure. So we've got a lot that's going on. And uh, let me see if I pull this over here. Okay, this does not affect, but the thing is, is it does affect me some. We are getting ready to do the off season, and this could be the craziest off season there is. Uh, for one aspect is, I'm not sure how it's gonna go because we've had some updates and stuff. Um, and it's it's just untelling what will transpire from that. Don't say that. Never say that. Goonies never say die. Hey, mother love, 14 months. Definitely throw some hypes up there for her. Thank you, Molo. Will Molo stay on the team? I mean, I am kind of worried about what team will have when this is all said and done. I thought I'd turn the camera on tonight so you all could see my actual reactions when I when we do this. Because um, I am somewhat worried. I am worried about who will take off. Uh, as of right now, I, I honestly don't think our team has any needs. Uh, for the fact that, uh, well, when you win a couple years in a row, you obviously you have all the pieces. Now, I think we will have a couple of retirees. Uh, I do believe Bubba Blastman is done. And I do believe that Petrie Thornton at 37 will retire. Now, looking at the other ages... Least expected is 31, and lethal is 30. There's a chance that that above 30, they may retire. And looking at our pictures, I believe that uh, Markso is 33, and J2 is 31. So let me pop open a V8 Energy Black Cherry. We'll just have to see what happens. Especially, I'm just double checking all my figures here on my form that I use. We're gonna have to keep up with uh, people on other teams as well. That is always a big thing uh, to monitor. The game will retire them. Uh, yeah, you may have to jump back into curling. Hey, Zerfall, how are you doing, my friend? Hope you're doing well. No sponsorship. Nope, no sponsorships for me. I'm, I'm going to take it as my name being SKS, which is also a gun. Unless I get some Russian sponsors, I just don't think it's going to happen. Um, I'm trying to look here. Let me get this lined up here. Uh, on my form that I have. Z was A minus when the season started, so I don't think he'll bolt. Molo was A minus. 
and least expected was an A. So none of the big guns have changed. Now, Zenus did go up. Zenus was a B. He's a B plus now. That's a chance to jump. Um, McMongoose went up from a B minus to a B. So anybody that has movement like that has a chance to, uh, to jump ship. colors off here and on our pitching Pete stayed the same J2 stayed the same Cayman stayed I think all the pitchers no we did have one Yusuf went up from a B minus to a B Kira Montez went from a B minus to a B so that is something that's changed but nothing major so it, it's who knows what could happen at this point It's initials for a Christian school. Third fall, it's been a... Yeah, you know, Mar... Mar... May. It's May. Yes, May. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> this whole first part of this year has just been crazy. Um, but it's going by really fast. It's scary to think that we've already went through five months of 2021. I always revert back to where my dad said, the older you get, the faster the years goes. And I always thought that he was just saying that. And it's it's really scary now how fast they are going. All right. So, just to recap so we can make uh, World War II fan say bad things about me. The Drakes somehow swept the playoffs and picked up what would now be back-to-back -back World Series titles. We beat up a thing. I think that we just got very lucky. We played teams that got beat up on the way there. Kyoto was beat up at the end of the season. We swept them. They barely could score runs, four runs in three games. Then we took on the Buzzard, who pretty much spent their load on taking down the Dirt Dogs, Quinn Grimmett's team. And by the time we got there again, they had one game where both teams scored, but they started that first game and didn't score anything. They were just exhausted. And then they gave it all in game two, and it wasn't enough. And then we got to the Cyclones of Louisville. And they went through the Grapplers, who were a decent team. And they went all five games with them. And then they took on the Moose, a rested Moose squad, who was probably the best in the league besides us. And they fell behind... Early, they got flumped that first game, 12 to nothing, and then bounced back. So I think they were just emotionally exhausted. And again, they looked like Kyoto when we played them. They scored three runs in three games. You don't win titles doing that. And we just put up big numbers most of the games. That last game, we did not have to. But, um, yeah. Looking at the league leaders... That's the playoffs. So Pete was the MVP of the playoffs. He had a 313 ERA, 10 strikeouts on 23 innings pitch, and two complete games on the way for the Drakes. Even though he had a rough season, he still did amazing. The regular season MVP was Z Striker. Z batted 480, 25 home runs to lead the league. 52 RBIs, and he drew seven walks. I'm pretty sure he also had the triple crown. Alicia Woodrow, my redheaded bay, she was second. And then Eddie Gilmore of the Herbosaurs, which is kind of shocking, would uh, take third in that list. Sky Rodriguez and J2 also on that list. This championship is tainted. No. And yes, we could confirm there that Z did in fact win the Triple Crown. Sky Rodriguez had a chance to take it from him, but she did set out the last game with him so that Z would take the Triple Crown. Unfortunately, I did not get the achievement for it because you have to play a normal uh, season 
or a normal uh, franchise for that to take place. Dying of thirst for some reason. It's almost like I had peanut butter and crackers before I streamed. 97 hits for Z. That's 30 more than Sky. That is just... It's crazy when you think about how many multi-hit games that Z had. If Z leaves us, he will be a terror on another team. Um, and there's a chance that could happen. There's a chance Sky could leave. She's not been with us that long, so... Um, who knows? Nobody could leave. I mean, that that that's happened to us twice. So who knows? Sir Studs and Stacy Sevens led the league in steals. Stacy Seven was also caught twelve times. Everyone leaves. <laughs> Everyone just decides they're done. They take off. A prediction. Who do we do the prediction on? I'll let you put that while I go through the rest of this. Colton Conrad and Captain Pete led the league in wins. Yusuf Stark there with eight. John Jeremy. Our starters get wins, and that's that's where we get the most of ours. His starting pitching is amazing. Kamen finished second in saves. We really had to depend on Kamen this season, and he was there for us. He had a couple of blown saves on the way, but what closer does not? Strikeouts. Pete finished with 68, one short of nice. None of our pitchers had a low opponent batting average, which is kind of weird. But we did give up more hits this year. Obviously, the 80 ego. I'm still debating whether we go up to 85 ego or 90 for Season 7. Um, it just depends. Looking at the economy, we we spent the majority of our player development funds, um, but we are spending 141.9 million on our roster. We're pretty much maxed out, but that only leaves us roughly 6.1 million. Obviously, if um, Bubba Blassman and Petrie Thornton leave, that will free up around eight to nine million. So we'll have a little bit of money, but they are bench players. Obviously, if we wanted to free up a large chunk of money, it would have to be players like Least Expected, uh, Colton Conrad, if he decided to go. Um, but we'll just have to see on that one. I guess I could do a poll and I can do a a prediction. Let me go to my team here. Do a new poll. Which player is more likely to leave? We'll put a couple of pictures here. Then we'll put some of the big people. Um, and who will be our, our wild card? There we go. I'll give you all five minutes to vote on that poll. Yeah, I, the wild off seasons do add a lot of drama to it. That's why I always set aside like one night to do it. Um, I won't be streaming tomorrow, by the way. I'm going to be on the road. Uh, we decorate in my mom's side of the family, so I'll be cemetery hopping tomorrow, putting flowers on graves. Um, and I just don't want to try to push back and, and stream. But Monday, I'm off work, so I will probably do a early evening stream on Monday for Memorial Day. What I'll play, I'm not sure yes, yet for Monday.
All right, so let's see. what What's the poll look like for you? Just a couple of votes. Sir Stud leading Z, Pete. So who do we think is the most likely? I don't know. I'm terrified Sky Rodriguez will leave with 99 power. But. Um, I don't know who to put on the prediction to let you all wager points, though. I don't even know how I would do a pr uh, prediction on this. We would have to pay somebody to... I don't know. J2 had one of the most solid seasons. You know what? Let's make J2 the prediction. Will John... I misspelled Will. Will John Jeremy... All right, y'all two minutes on that one. Will John Jeremy leave the Drakes? Chance for y'all to make some money? I'm also interested to see what happens with some of the other teams. We do have some uh, free agents that are out there. I know that Tenebris Von Wolf is out there. He wanted 16.2 million. And I believe everybody else has been signed. So. See if you all go for that. See if the polls change it. Why, did, why, did, why is it when I hit view poll, it has to open up a new window? Y'all have tied the poll up. That helps none. Don't say that. Never say that. Goonies never say die. Late, but I am here. Hey, Shaman. Thank you so much for the 14 months. More hypes in the chat. We were sitting here. We've got a poll running. We've also got a prediction. The poll is who do you think is going to leave or more likely to leave? It's getting ready to run down. It's got about a minute left. And then the prediction. Like the prediction, uh, the poll is starting to slide more toward Captain Pete. And the prediction is uh, 1 versus 41,000. So I don't think a lot of people think that J2 is going to leave. So somebody could be winning big. I don't know who it is, but it's somebody. I may be as rich as hell if J2 leaves. You know, you could have all the drinks that you want. Crit voted no. Molo voted no. Ah, it's good to see. All right, the prediction's over. So I guess I can not drag it out any farther. We're going to have to go up here and hit the button. Poll is over. Pete has won the poll. Let's hit the button. Oh my God. We've got 45 million. And I already know that Molo is one of them. Right down there she is. The Drakes have fallen apart. After back-to-back -back World Series, it is no longer the case. Oh my lord. I... I don't even want to look at the rest of them. 
I'm 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 lost. My. Molo. Mother Love got caught in a scandal and was forced to resign shortly after. Maybe it was Molo all that time. Who was putting those crit bats in there? So, I've already got to put on the list, one of our needs is a short sh shortstop. <sighs> wow. I did not expect Molo to betray me like that. But here we are. Thanks, Molo. Don't know what you've done. But you did it. Now, Molo was only 9.6 million. So that means there's a lot more people. Gosh, I am so, so tore up about this. Okay, let's scroll down here and see who else. Mother Love made, what did I say, 9.6 for us. Let's see what she's going to want. 24.2 million. Oh my God. <laughs> I've scrolled less than an inch <laughs> and I'm already done. I'm already done. I mean, honestly, she's earned it. She's turning 30. She's carried the team for years, for six years. Who are we to stop her? from going and making $24 million. I mean, seriously, that is just, I, I don't know. Hmm. All right, okay. So we're not getting Molo. Molo, mo money. Yep. Lethal! <laughs> no! The goddess of swing has jumped ship. Oh my God. What scandal? We didn't let Lethal have a date with somebody. So did did Lethal and Molo? So now we need a first baseman. Well, technically we may not need a first baseman because we, as of right now, 
We still have Jason McMongoose. Lethal made 8.4 million for us. And was B plus. All right, let me, I'm, I'm, up, I'm updating my grid sheet. If you all ever follow along with this, you all may not. So lethal has jumped ship. The thing I did like about lethal is lethal could pay third as well. Now, how much, what do you all think lethal is going to want? From 8.4 million to what? Thirty million. I don't know if he'll go higher than Molo, or she'll go. I'm going to say fifteen, sixteen million. All right, let me scroll down here. Eighteen point seven. Well done, Crusader six five. Now remember, here's the remember, guys. You all set the rule at season one. That when somebody left, we could not, even if they dropped down to where we could buy them back, we are not allowed to go get them. Because if you leave the Drakes, you have to be away for a season. So. Woo. So that is 17 million. Stacy Sevens! Our entire infield on the right side is gone. Oh, oh my God, I'm going to be sick. I'm, I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up. I thought maybe one or two positions, but our entire infield. All right, so even if we could move Jason McMongoose to first, we definitely don't have hitters to replace Lethal and Mother Love and Stacy. Hold of you to us. You know what? You're right. Okay, I chugged that way too quick. I'm going to go fix alcohol. So how much will Stacy Sevens want? 18.5 million. <sighs> if Sky Rodriguez is the next one on this list, I may walk out of the room. All 
I almost went and bought scotch yesterday and I didn't. Just crash the, just kick my computer, throw it out the window. This never happened. We all, okay. We all knew the ride was gonna come to an end at some point. But like, I didn't think it would be tonight. my gosh okay we're still not done yet we've still got 20 million dollars to go actually about 10 million maybe least expected mark mark so oh <laughs> i did not expect him i thought he would retire He got caught in a scandal. What is going on? Mark So was 5.8 million. Oh my God, that means there's another pitcher or another player. So we'll need a reliever, which we don't have to spend a lot on a reliever. We have thir 36 million, so we've still got 9 million more of players that's still out there that we don't know who's left. You all love this stuff. Oh my God. Markso only made 5.8. So obviously he's gonna go out and make, but Markso did not have a good season. Markso's better seasons were behind it. But again, he's aging. So maybe he's just like, you know, so let's see what Markso wants. He wants to. I saw who it was. Oh my. No, 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 no. <laughs> Twitch medical officer, no, you could still make a player. I put you in as the free agents that go on to the other teams. Um, so you've still got time. You won't be on our team, but you'll either be a free agent in the league or you'll be on another team. I just have to see which team signed the new players and then I'll plug you in one of those. I am gonna throw up. I'm just going to go ahead and move him before I even scroll down. I still don't think that's everybody, though. We are missing another player even after this next unveil. I think it's a retirement, so it won't be that bad. Cayman has resigned. Cayman has took off chasing money. Cayman made 6.4 with us. He is seeking out $13.2 million.
Uh, I think now we've got three million dollars left. Um, that's still free that, that we'll have left. So I'm going to guess that it's Bubba Blastman retiring. Because he's the only person that's three million on the dot that's still on the team. So, uh, so we'll go through retirements here. Little Bupton retires. Rip Dingers. Gina Torrens, no! Remington Sharp. Bubba Blastman. Bubba Blastman retires at age 45 with a rating of a C. We got him his ring. Bubba had some clutch hits. I mean, it... I, you know, not even mad about him. Congrats to Bubba Blastman. A, a, a long, long career. 45 years old. All right, so... Here's what we got to take a look at right now. That's all they have on this list. Is looking at our lineup, we lost three key players. That is scary. The thing is, if we spend $10 million a piece on those three positions, first base, which we don't have to, but we can. We do need to kind of get a player that could play third base when Sky is in a slump. So we need somebody that's either a third base first baseman or a first baseman third baseman, just like Lethal was. We definitely need amazing second baseman and shortstops. So, I, I mean, we've got $45 million to play around with. I'm thinking $9 million on each of those three spots. Bubba Blastman's can be anybody. And then we've still got some pitchers that we need to spend about $6 million a piece on. Dig is, but Dig is awful at hitting. Um, I think. Let me see here. It's nine, nine, and nine. <laughs> Thank you for the 15 bits. Nine, nine, nine is 27. And then we need to spend some money on a closer. So I'm saying six to seven on that. And then another, we can get a cheaper reliever at probably four million. So that, that'd be 37 million and leave us about seven million. So that's kind of the numbers I want to spend. Um, so let me just put this here, uh, six to seven on this person, this reliever four, and then for the three players, which I don't know what's out there. God, we're going to have to make a short list and it's, I'm terrified. I'm not even lying to you all. And here's the thing. What do we focus on first? Like... We have to have somebody that's a first base, third base. Even even if, and here's the thing, if there's a stud hitter that plays short or second base, I will I will spin double, because remember, we can always put Jason McMongoose at first. So that gives us a little bit of money to uh, play around with there. But second and shortstop, we've got to get a big hitter, and we've got to have people that can field. That's the bottom line. Um, they have to have fielding and they have to have hitting. First base just needs to be able to play third. Um, and Bubba Blastman, we can sign somebody the last week for that position. Uh, but
Now, a reliever, we probably need to get a decent reliever. But I don't know if we go after a reliever and a clo closers are hard to find. So let's go. Let's go put together a short list. I'm surprised there's nothing else. They had a list up here. Yeah, highlights. Sack to song. Wants 32 million. These people are just out of our Jim Qualita. She would be amazing as a starter, but 20 Hefty Mendoza. Willie Bacon's a free agent. Huffley Buffler. Um. Yeah. Um. I cannot believe these Drake players took off and they're gone, but. Well, we had three three uh, scandals and just two resignations. But let's see who is out there. So looking at first baseman. Hey, w World War II fan, you got your wish. <laughs> you got cut. <laughs> oh my God. So, a lot of the stuff happened and we, we weren't able to even um, look. Okay, so maybe we need to start at the top. Good God. There's a lot of viewers that got cut, it looked like. Stephen Magpie, I'm pretty sure Stephen Magpie is one. Since it doesn't tell us, yeah, he was on the Jurassics. So Steven Magpie is cut loose. The Walmart. I didn't want to do that. Messer Upper is a player. Who was he on? It's taking me forever to go through this loot list. They're not alphabetical. I guess I could search, right? Oh, there he is. He was on the Bards. So he's let go. We'll mark him. I don't know if uh, Din Kara. Lord Lizard got cut. Oh my God, did everybody get cut? Din Kara was on the moose. So I don't think, I, okay, I'm not going to be able to mark everybody since there's so many. And it'll really mess us up. Lord Lizard, I think he was on the Monarchy. This is a turnover year. Everybody is going someplace different. Uh, so World War II fan got let go from the Cyclones. World War II fan also wants $22.5 million. There's Lethal. Makatayuki got let go of the Monarchy. So the Monarchy got a rid of two of the three uh, people that were on that team. Sweet one. Oh my God. Everybody let go here. Um... Sweet one was on the Berserker since season one, I'm pretty sure. Asher Ryan, isn't that somebody? Yes, played as your Young Straits character was on the Cruisers. Oh my God, so much. Your Stacy Sevens. No! SKS was let go of the hairs! Oh! Oh no! Bring him back! Bring him back! <laughs> yeah, not at 22.5. Keep him away. Keep him away. Tenebrous Von Wolf was a free agent before. I'm going to unfollow him. Thesnar will unfollow him, though they are short stops.
We'll go back through here in a minute. Mother Love, there, Nance Tools, Nor Homes, Chaz Bigman. I'm pretty sure that's somebody. Yes, that is a things player. Was on the Jurassics, let go. I cannot believe. All these people. Billy Bacon, Stockton, Mario, Fib Mario Fibonacci. That was on the whiskers. So many people let go after this season. Rail Johnson, Juan Rojas. That's it. Holy cow. Look at this list of people who just, the game just decided just to throw everybody out there. The highest free agent is Sock to Song, Wilford Gongnam, Sean Shipwright, Hefty Mendoza, and then we got that sweet one wants 24.2. Molo wanted 24.2. Holy cow. Okay, we've not even looked at pitchers. Colonists! Colonists has been let go. I... Colonists was on the Bowman. The Bowman maybe gonna rebuild. I don't think Manuel Morrow is one. But that sounds so familiar for some reason. Gage, Dozer, Lucas Rufus. Looks like there's a lot of relievers, though. Uh, we This list is so long. There's Cayman. There's a lot of like starters who got let go. There's a lot of teams that are going to be to totally new this year. Is Colonist the only one I've seen here? That's the list. Alright, so colonists, the only okay, so I don't even know what I'm gonna do here. Uh I need to data sort range. There we go. So as of this point. Nineteen of you are free agents. And if some of you like retired, I won't know yet because I'll have to go through and match up the the list. So I think something I want to do that I've never done before is we need to go through and look at the super young players. So look oh, this is still pictures. Hold on. So let's go to positions. So usually the 19 year olds are the brand new ones. So Jay Alvarez is a short shortstop, second baseman, looks amazing. 92 power, that would be great. 86 fielding, we just cannot afford him. I'm pretty sure he's a rookie, yeah. Uh, Rel Johnson, what a terrible name for a girl. Um, good stats, but 17.6 million is a little bit much than what I want to spend on an infielder and it looks like Theodore Chavez is the other catcher who is available here's a shortstop third baseman 
but 18.3. So, I mean, yeah, it's it's one of those things that these new players don't look... They're too expensive. Okay, let's check the pitchers. Um, so, Royal D. Fleshman is a starter. We don't really need a starter. She is a lefty at 10.2. And then we got Roydus Goodwin at 5.5, but he's only got two pitches. So not a lot of youth coming in. Um, looking at closers, there is only five, four closers we can even look at. Rex Butters, Eric Rippon, Elric Rippon. Gage is too expensive and then Roydus. Oh, man, these these people. Zomorx, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. They, these are this is bad. We may just have to pick up another reliever. Uh, I always advise everybody, the game is amazing, but always wait for it to go on sale. Uh, it is it is way worth it. You will get your you will get your money's worth, but don't buy it at full price. It goes on sale all the time now, um, so wait until it does that. Yeah, on some of the relievers. Yeah, and EA just bought Metalhead Software, who makes the game, so I cannot vouch for anything that happens in the future. But this game, if it goes unchanged, is amazing. Uh, Colette Olsen is pretty nice. She is young, too. I like Makina Wagner here, too. Her velocity sucks for her, but she's more of a... Some of these just need to come down a little bit. I don't know if we could shot. I think we have to do a fielder first. We have to work. A shortstop should be our first position we get. The World War II fan is looking spicy. But he doesn't fit any of our needs. That's the problem. He's first base, but he doesn't have that third base thing that we could use. But his stats are crazy in a switch hitter. But at 22.5, we can't afford him. All right, so let's go down here and look at shortstops. I don't know how many. We may have to sign a shortstop week one. There's a ton of them, but they're going to be expensive. SKS plays can play shortstop, but not at 22.5 million. I think 15 or 16 may be the limit we could spend on a shortstop. It looks like Jay Alvarez. He's a little too much. Boone Erickson. Eighty-five power, fifty-three contact. He has seventy-one speed, ninety-five fielding, and a ninety-three arm at twenty years old. $4 million cheaper, we've got Tenebris Von Wolf, who is a bad jumps, but he's 99 speed. 80 power, so we lose 5 power, we pick up 7 hitting, he has 99 speed, 99 field, oh my god, I think we have to sign Dark Wolf. I think we'd be stupid not to sign a switch hitter. Is Dark Wolf going to be the new Molo? When there's trouble, you call DW. Dark Wolf Duck. He can play second base as well. Remember, we can always move Jason McMongoose to first. Um,
He has, what has the computer done to him? His stats are crazy. The bad jumps, I think we can work on. I, I really wish he hit, Boone Erickson has the third base though. But I think if we sign Von Wolf, then we get a second baseman who can do third. Do those exist? Kinsley, ooh, she's 13.5 though. There's Asher Ryan. That wouldn't be a bad pickup. Too expensive though. Sloop Whoopity. I mean, some of the prices will come down. Then again, if we find a third base, well, no, we need somebody that primarily plays shortstop or second. Sloop's just a little too expensive now. We cannot spend $40 million on two players. Or $30 million, excuse me. We've still got to get two relief pitchers and possibly two bench positions. I don't know if we can let Dark Wolf go. Because on those three positions, we have to get one stud immediately. All right, so right now, just on, we're looking at shortstops. Where did they go? We are looking at both. Boone Erickson and Vaughn Wolf. There, that's the two studs right there for that. Um, John Ranero, he's he's more expensive. Thesnar, ninety eight power, seventy one contact, sixty speed. So we lose a lot of speed if we drop out of that. What keeps Von Wolf's price down is his bad jumps. Um, so it's about $4 million. <sighs> Efric Cortez. Yeah, Thesnar is pretty... Fielding is only 81. I mean, shortstop's got to have amazing fielding and amazing arm. We, we've seen that that is the key. Well, Zenas, I think we got to buy at least one expensive infielder who can hit well. And that would either be um, Boone here or Von Wolf. And the speed and fielding are with them. That's why I'm saying 14 million on one player then that gives us still a lot of money when the price is dropped to get a second baseman. We didn't really look at the second baseman. Is there a big key second baseman? We have Sweet One. He's too much. The rest of the second baseman suck, except Puffly Buffler. Kinsley Overlord, though, is not bad. I don't mind marking her. She loves inside pitch. She does strike out a lot. She's got 76 fielding and 92 arm. She is a righty at 30. Um, not good stats, but if that price comes down, you know, to 8 million or so, and we're going to have other people that are going to come out here, then we may be okay. We've also got some other cheaper options. Like Lorelei Stout is 12.9. She's going to come down. Randy Mann with a zero fielding. Man, oh man. I, I don't think there's a reason to cut Dig. He only makes 2.2 million. Okay, let's look at first baseman. Can we get a super Mark McGuire type hitter that plays first? We can't afford World War II fan. Makatayuki, though he's got a lot of power, at 14.4, that's not bad. If he come down, but he is an RBI dud and bad jumps. 
which we've seen that doesn't really affect them a lot. Um, so maybe we watch Makatayuki. Because if he falls below 10, that could be good. But like I said, first base, we can always throw McMongoose into that spot. No worries. And the rest of these first basemen just seem... Kobe Kingman is not bad. His contact sucks, but his power is 91. So he would be like a Sky Rodriguez, but he could he can field. And he's a switch hitter. If his price went down, that wouldn't be bad either. Well, realize, I was thinking that too. He is first base and infield, so he could cover third base if needed. No, he's second base. Never mind. All right, so let's do that. Let's just plug him in to the first base position. So already that gives us three million Almost four million extra cap from a position. The thing is, is season after season, we are weakening our bench and I don't really want to do that. But we, it is imperative we get a big second baseman or shortstop. I need to change McMahon because he just, he does first and second. We still need one of our bench players has to be a backup third baseman. All right, let's go back and look at the available players. And the second base, I mean, there's gonna be people that move. We gotta remember that. Like, so there'll be some other second basemen that come up, but Second baseman, like, I would love to pick up, like, a sweet one, but we just can't afford him. There's not a lot of... Even a Lorelei, like I said, a Lorelei stout, she's old, but... Annabella Roundhouse. She's 14... That's actually not bad stats. Annabella or Trisha Lee, at, but these are third basemen. Their field, okay, Annabella would be worthless. We couldn't play her at first. Unless their price come way down, we really couldn't use her. Gorgo, if he dropped, could be a great... I, I can't see paying 12 million for him though. Because remember, right now, all we're looking for is second base and shortstop. And I think we have to make, I think we have to make a shortstop signing right now. Buttons Bunderson, look at his stats. 99, 99, 98. The computer has made Buttons Bunderson a machine. Oh, you want me to star these? For backups. Okay. So. <sighs> Boone Erickson is so young though. Arms off. Desnar's arm's a little weaker. Building. Desnar's a little weaker. Von Wolf is better in that. Von Wolf is better in speed. 
I think we have to sign Von Wolf. He destroyed us in the playoffs when we faced the Dirt Dogs. It makes sense for us to pick him up and bring him in as our shortstop. We do lose out on a little bit of power. A lot without Thesnar. Because, guys, remember, we are replacing Mother Love and the Goddess of Swing in the batting order. We have to get a stud to balance those two. Stacy Sevens was amazing on defense. But we've got to replace our runs. Runs is what won us our games. Um, we do lose... Well, we got Sir Studs we can insert in the lineup, too. Also, we can make least expected come in and play infield if needed. I think Von Wolf will be able to steal, even with the bad jumps. You know what? We always, we always second guess ourselves. You know what? We're signing him. Tenebrous Von Wolf, congratulations. One of our biggest signings to date. And it's a viewer. That's true. 14.8 million. It makes me a little sick at my stomach, but you know, it's what you got to do. All right, we have signed Von Wolf. Let's hit the button. All right, Tenebrous Von Wolf is now a Drake. He goes from the Dirt Dogs to the Miramar Moonstars to his third team. All right. Well, we needed to spend some money. I think it's a good acquisition. Like I said, we can move least expected if we need to into the field. He could play shortstop. So we can, we can be mindful of that, or he could play second base. But I still think we need to get a good second baseman as well. But we're gonna let it run a week and then we'll see who else becomes like free agents. But as you can see there, the athletic, the athletic, the Atlantic Drakes Inc. Tenebrous Von Wolf. So. God, that's, I'm nervous and I don't know why it's a video game. Gosh. Oh, I don't normally like just go for it. And we just did. All right. I'm actually going to take a bio break before we go to the next round. And uh, when I come back, we will start going through some of these rounds and we're going to have to start picking out some players because I think a lot of them are going to go quick. Yeah, and a lot of them is going to have to come down. So I think we got our one big acquisition, um, defensive and a decent hitter. I think we need one more big hitter and maybe some speed. So, but I will be right back. Special thanks to these June Patreon members. If they were chalkboard erasers, I would bang them outside after class. If you want to be like them, check out the link below. Zachary McKinley, The Least Expected, Critia Zero, James Matisse, Party Commissar, Azur Rain, Nicholas Absher.